Gamers, did you did you not grind an immortal and get an adeptus last weekend with the new matchmaking, which is really amazing by the way. Check out trials, it's not as hard bad anymore. That's a side note. Did you not get an immortal? Maybe, maybe you actually had a life outside the game. Maybe you went to go touch some grass. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You know, I ain't gonna say none. I have a build for you, man, to kind of compete with the immortal, or at least try. And it's with the Huckleberry. If you don't know, the Huckleberry is so underrated, man. So good. Those 2,500 enemies, that's crucible, man. Those 728, that's also crucible. I don't know why it trackers like that, but trust me, I never use this thing in PvE. And I say this because Huckleberry, its damage ramps up over time versus its its rate of fire ramps up over time versus it being the other way. And I'm pairing that with Foe Tracer to kind of get a pseudo target lock, even though Foe Tracer applies on like the very last bit of damage on someone. And to top it all off, we're pairing this with Radiant Dodge. So, yeah. The things we have to do to get close to the Immortal. Look at it go. Look at that. This guy's right on us. It's going to back up a bit, you know? We got to rush. This is going to push for some reason. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, we're so dead. And no, we're not dead. He's going to run at me. Thank you, buddy. <gasps> he got the melee off. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You see the shreds. It's like I have the immortal. And the best part of this is that you don't have to grind trials for it, man. It's, it's beautiful. Not having to grind trials for something. Look at that damage ramping. That's basically target lock, no? <laughs> Look at that roll in place. Whoa, I'm so dead. Oh, he came in quick. Good for him. I wasn't even going to get that. If I looked up. Oh, oh, I'm not getting spawn camped. No, sir. No, sir. Let me get in your range. Oh, dude, I'm so bad. I'm getting actually farmed by this guy. No. And then, Foe Tracer also buffs our airborne effectiveness. So, you can actually shoot in the air now. So, yeah. I think this combo is really neat. It's uh, pretty fun. And the best part is that Huckleberry isn't total garbage. And you get wall hacks, for some reason. Uh, yeah. Uh, enough said about the exotic. Let's do some gaming, no? I think it's time. Whoa. Yoink. Okay, took that. Ah, you know, I take it. Get the free restoration going. Oh, don't look at me, don't look at me. Yes. All right, this guy coming this way, this guy coming that way. Who's gonna push me? All right, that guy. Thank you, sir. Oh, not gonna get sniped out here, boy. Hit a quick jump on the head. He ain't sniping me. Yeah, I, I personally think this build is really fun. <laughs> it's basically just as toxic, toxic as using the immortal. I find it to be really funny like that. Ah, oh, this guy's this guy's crazy with the igneous, but doesn't matter. I'm farming with the SMG. Suck it. But as I was saying. Is it just as bad as using the Immortal? You're dang right. Am I gonna keep doing it? You're dang right, man. Yo, look at look at that. Can the Immortal do that? Yes, and it does it better too. Does it beat, does it beat LMGs? Yes, but this does that too. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of made this for fun. I'm not. I'm not really looking to do anything crazy. Oh my god. Suck it. Holy. You see that? See that? Ability spam. You like it? Like I just spun there. Ah, he's pissed. Is he rushing? No, he has a hand cannon. There's no way. Oh, wait. Actually, he did rush. I have wall hooks on you, buddy. Brother is not escaping me. Oh, I'm actually almost dead. <laughs> Let me reload. The only downside this SMG has like a 10 year reload. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, dude. Is this toxic? It has to be toxic, right? There's just no way it's not. See, damage ramping 28 on the last shot. 
that's basically target lock no <laughs> anyways I think this game is basically over now oh no someone left. no they're leaving the game no oh he's gonna push me bro I think he's like that all right Here's the beauty of this. I have wall hacks on him. Oh no, they're gone now. Looks like he's going long. Take the ego challenge. Oh, he went for the snipe. Sorry, brother. Ah, uh, I, I gotta shred you real quick with the SMG, man. Get one more kill here. Let's try to let's try to get the radiant going. See how quickly we can melt this guy. I'm trying to stay on the head the entire time. Ready for this? Three, two, one. Nice. Oh, way too far. No way, man. I tried. I tried. You know, half the lobby leaves because you're dominating. What are you supposed to do, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Try this out. It's not It's not the hardest thing to try out. Uh, it's pairing two exotics, so there's nothing really to grind here, which is nice. And boom. There we go. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. And let me know how you feel about the the immortal right now, cause <laughs> boy am I sick of it. I I absolutely despise the meta where Ooh, wait, headseeker? Ah, oh, so close to this head headseeker. Bam, I'm making another video right there. But no headseeker. That's a dismantle for me. But let's check the stat line. Nice. Very good. But like I said, <laughs> I don't know if this necessarily counters the immortal. It probably does the exact same thing. But if you don't have the SMG, you can honestly probably just slap on Huckleberry and ignore Foe Tracer. This is kind of just overkill, just for like the, the fun of it. <laughs> I'm even using Strain Siphon and stuff on it. <laughs> Because I was literally using this with the Immortal and I was getting some crazy melts. But I figured that'd be boring for a video, video just using the Immortal. So I found the next best thing. But yeah, this is the roll I got, by the way. No Rangefinder. But I think if Rangefinder gets a rework slash removed slash changes up completely, this is the roll right here. I am a controller, by the way, so we're not going for full bore. And small bore is kind of nice because it gives you the stability. You know, we would set at 18 stability with this, so we would get a stat penalty. But we don't need it because we got keep away and target lock. Now, if I don't like target lock, demolitionist, man. But yeah, that's literally it for this video. Try out the build. Let me know how you like it. And peace.